up for Cyber Lunch. That's so stupid. It's week one. Vikings won though, week one. Oh my god. <clears throat> Let's win this game. I knew Daryl would smile about this. It just because it pisses Justin off. Well, he's wearing a Packers jersey in my house. So. Welcome yeah, back, right Cyberbots. With football coming up and our regularly scheduled night to record is Sunday evenings, so we'll be having a slight schedule change. And our show will now be aired Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. In the spirit of being able to watch foot, foot, football. This is America, right? This is. I have to watch my football. Believe it or not, our 40th episode. So. Wow, 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 wow. We just want to say we are so lucky and happy to have all your support, love, and affection. Kisses. Yeah, Thank thanks, you. guys. Keep spreading us around every once in a while. We're getting new. And tell new somebody else, nice. please. Yeah. Yeah, just make this people. an epidemic. Just love. spread us around like <clears throat> Car- or Pam Anderson did with her Hepsi. Tell us what to do. Plus, when it becomes winter and we have less to do, I can guarantee you we'll have a couple good. Uh, Drunk cast. North are always fun. The and North I've, remembers. I've been I've been out there trying to get a bunch of guests for the winter too. I've been talking up everybody. Mm, 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 there's mm. a lot of stage for, or well not stage fright. Mike fright. Yeah, Mike fright. They kind of like lock up. They're like uh like you know they don't want to say no but they don't exhibit say yes. A Matthew. So uh, no, he was confident as hell when he came in here. Yeah, and then he got in front of the mic with yeah. the headphones on. That's a whole other thing. Today. We play this week in gaming history 20 questions, talk briefly on Insomniac's latest release, Marvel Spider-Man, give a final conclusive thought to Detroit Become Human. I did finish it. Eight hour session. Thank you. Nice. Um, I finished Handmaid's Tale. That was a slog. We'll get to that. As well as some recently watched horror films off my I don't want extensive to talk about list. Handmaid's Tale again. I just have to touch on it he briefly. He just has to complain to me for making him start it again. No. Well, I, it was curiosity. You told him not to start it again. I, I know, didn't. and that, yes, that's, that's what, okay, and catch up on our favorite, <laughs> <laughs> and catch up with your favorite pals at the lunch table. Thank you so much for sticking with us. We are coming up on our one year, as I said last uh, week, so we're going to have to try to plan to do something special for that. Yeah, Who what are you knows? guys getting us for our birthday? Yeah, come on. Should, should we should we all pitch together some bonus money and get something for the show for the birthday? Yeah, I mean, we got, well, Daryl. I still think we should get a soundboard so I can play, like, pitch, fart noises. And how about we pitch together some money and pay Daryl back for some of this equipment that he's bought? I'm show. your host. That's true. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm your host, Daryl. I'm I'm Justin. I'm your co-host, Jake. Welcome to Cyber Lunch, a weekly podcast that deals with nostalgia reflected and integrated into our everyday lives to growing up in the digital revolution, plus a plethora of tangents and oh, passionate discussions with special guests and our favorite music, movies, video games, and television shows of the past and today. See, it we, took a year, but this is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Yeah. When you try to stop me during my spiel, no, I, I can't. Get, I was going to get you to say plethora again. Plethora. Yeah. Plethora. Is it pla? Doesn't matter. All right. A hundreds? Hundreds of what? Hundreds. No, I didn't say that. No. All right. Oh, dude, there's some plastic to peel off this TV. Stop. Stop. I in the name of love. Yeah. All right. Know, this week in gaming history, Jake's got some history to lay on you folks. And apparently, it's been a pretty hefty week yeah. in years past. Yeah, it was past. week. Uh, 1995, 23 years ago. Good roughly, year. The Sony PlayStation was released. Holy shit. Oh, the whole system? Yeah. 1995? I wonder what the launch titles were. I remember uh, Descent. Uh, Warhawk was one. Jet Moto. Jet Moto was one. Uh, Resident Evil. Uh, uh, Twisted Metal 1, yeah, I believe. Twisted Metal, yep. Yeah. NBA Jam. Nice, dude. Rayman. That's right. Rayman was one. I remember PlayStation had the, those big cases where it was just the one disc. It was yep. the long, yeah, tall it was ones. A, it was just sucked up way too much room on your shelf to make it even worth it. It's like, really, we're doing this for a disc? I think they made it, made it that height for, they're still doing instruction manuals. 
that's what it was. I and remember I think the, they, you know, weren't used to making them small or not making them at all. They're on compact discs now. I remember the guy at Funko Land bitching about it because he was like, well, the problem with having discs is, is that you can scratch them really easy, whereas if you have a cartridge, you're never going to damage your game. I'm just like, well, that was kind of interesting unless you throw it to the ground. True. 20 years ago, NFL Blitz. Hmm. 1998. We'll never see those games again. Yeah, no. Do you Roughing the passer because you tackled him. Fucking you know, stupid. You body slammed him. You yeah. tombstoned his ass. That was good. I like that. <laughs> Spyro the Dragon. The first one? Yeah. Dude, that was solid. That re- Parasite Eve. Remember that game? Yep. This is all the same day? These were all the same year. 98. <clears throat> There's a lot. Dude. Year? You mean week? Yeah, but in 1998. Oh, or week. In yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Just clarifying for our listeners. 19, 19 years ago, the Sega Dreamcast was released Mega Man Zero Destiny was released Destiny 1 yep the first Destiny yep, yep, yep. Uh, speaking of which I've been playing the Forsaken DLC I have about 10 to 12 hours in and there's a whole lot of shit to do I am lost I don't even know what to do I'm just like there's so much so now so it's much content. kind of gone way off the deep end so no, it's you good. I know but I'm just saying like you if you haven't played in a while, good luck. You have a lot to catch up on. Right, but that's, it gives you hours. It's not a complaint where you're like, oh, I finished it in freaking two hours or three hours. You know, the DLCs and stuff. It's all there now. Justin's favorite game. I, Justin, I just... We're still just talking about it. Destiny 1 now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 23 years ago, 1995, on September 7th, so a couple days ago, uh, Batman Forever on the Genesis. Horrible game. That was a good game. Batman Returns was a good game. Is that the one where you had to go up the grates and that you had to press like up and select at Depends the same time? Depends what console you play it <laughs> on. Up and select. <laughs> it's like, and then people kept getting stuck because there was a timer on it or something on the very first level. Mm. I don't know. Silent 4, Silent Hill 4, The Room. Oh. Remember The Room? I yes. like that one. The Gorilla. Oh, The Room was different. Yep. Room I was liked it. Did you that play, was... did you beat it? Oh God, man. That was, how many years ago? Uh, that was too long ago. Like 12 years? I, just, I don't know if I ever did beat it. it. I got really far. I probably I did beat it. I honestly, <laughs> confession, I don't think I've ever played a Silent Hill game. Oh. Well, that's disappointing because now that they're all very dated. That's disappointing. <clears throat> yeah, they're, wait, you can't go back. Really? Especially no. the original. One and two are the best, but they're the I, oldest. I know about it. Like, I think it's funny that, like, the first one, the fog mechanics aren't actually part of the atmosphere. It's because the game can't load in as far or something like that. Yeah, they use that as a uh, crutch for the graphics yeah. Yeah. compatibility. Yeah. It's but pretty it, good. It really. Did Nick, you add Silent Hill to your Halloween no, movie collection? No, I should. Now that uh, I'm thinking about it, that was one I talked about with you. The other I day. hated the CGI <laughs> babies though. The part with the pyramid head and the skin ripping in front of the church was pretty brutal though. <laughs> Do you remember a little game called Driver San Francisco? Remember that game? Piece of shit. Yeah, I oh, never I liked any game. of the drivers. I played that game so much. The thing was, is that the, the <laughs> tutorial mission, you had to do like a, I got stuck. I bought it for PC and you had to do like a 360 and a 180 and like, or like you had to do all these tricks and it was on a timer. And if you didn't finish it in a certain amount of time, you would just have to restart over. So I literally bought the game for $10 and got stuck and then got pissed and then never I played it I think that happened with all the driver games. It was like Grand Theft Auto, but you couldn't run over people and pick up hookers. So, Well, yeah, there was no like violence or shooting in the game. Yeah, it was rated uh, T for teen. Final Fantasy VII. I forgot about that. 21 yes. years ago on September 7th. Oh, that movie can, or that game can drink. Damn. Oh, yeah. Well, you could drink while you're playing. It makes it better. One of my all-time <laughs> so favorites, I but it came out on eight. PC in 1999. Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. That was pretty good. Love that game. Anyway, sorry, when you were eight? No, it's just that Final Fantasy VII came out when I was eight, and I've told the story multiple times, but I bought a PlayStation and was too stupid to realize that you needed a memory card. Oh, yeah. The only Final Fantasy I've ever played was 15. How about that for you? And I loved it. That's okay. I, I mean, loved it. yeah. After, but I played it after patches and it's stuff. It's kind of like sad, because I went to GameStop the other day, and I found like the Day 1 Extended Edition on Xbox. It's enhanced, but they wanted like $11 for it. For what, 15 Yeah, but... Literally, the the ironic part about that is that that game was in development for about 15 years. Yeah, I remember that. And then what is it? It came out two years ago? A year ago? Five, uh, 15? Yeah. Last two. year, wasn't it last, early last year? Wasn't it like the second big game of last year? The very first one out of the gate was uh, Evil Within. 
They're all running together. Yeah, right, yeah. It's all it all. It's it all McDonald's, man. It's all McDonald's at the end of the day. Okay, so there's a lot more. Rayman came out. Did I say that? I think R- I said Rain that. Man? Rayman. Rayman. It's just a counting cards game. It's just like definitely, and you watch definitely, Wap- definitely. Judd, watch Star the Judd Fox Wapner show. Sixty four three D on the three DS. Which one? Star Fox sixty four three D. Oh my god. Resident Evil Outbreak. In Japan. File number two. Weird. On PlayStation 2. I remember that. It was a piece of shit. I rented it. No. <laughs> well, it was, feel like a piece of shit. Well, it was touted to be an online game where you're supposed to, I think right. it's like you're supposed to have like cooperative play in the Resident Evil world. So it's supposed to be like semi-share world and you mm-hmm. load it in. You needed like a PlayStation online adapter. I, I don't like multiple people in my horror games. It, it takes away the fear. I like agree. Resident Evil 5 was just a shooter. I, that's because what, it, just what I was going to say. It wasn't scary. I don't Let's know. be honest. Like half of the Resident Evil franchise sucks. Okay, and all of the almost movies exactly suck. half. No, that's not true. The first Resident Evil movie I love, I still love. First is let me propose a small idea. So it, you know, like that uh, game Zombie Zombie U. Yes, yeah, I never played it though. Okay, so what if you had that game set in the Resident Evil universe, first person, similar to like Biohazard? Well, it's Resident Evil Seven, but it's shared world. Where it, but it's not like Daisy, you know, or like State of Decay, where you're like building up stuff. It's just you roaming around a city, getting better loot and gear, kind of like a division type thing. Mm. And then you run across other people. So you can pick up other people's loot. Like, say some dude gets attacked and he's like getting eaten by zombies, and you wait for the horde to dissipate and then you go pick up all his shit. Oh, that'd be cool. Like, you know what I mean? It would be, that would make it fun. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, that was a time as far as like Resident Evil 5 they were really trying to push on like co-op experiences especially it was Capcom with their we need to make arcade game bullshit kind like, of the, but they want shooters they don't want well they were playing off of Resident Evil 4 yeah but and I think maybe some people bitch that fucked it up I think. I think some people bitch that they wanted to play co-op in that similar type of setting because I, I enjoyed both those games so Whatever you have to say about it. Resident Evil 7 is the bomb, by the Did way. Did you play through all of Resident Evil 5? Go, baby! Oh, Jesus. Sorry. I'm turning that TV off if you don't stop. <laughs> Resident Evil 5. I did. I, and I, that's that's why when Jake was saying about co-ops and I was Resident Evil, so I was like, oh, man. yeah. Because I remember that. I don't think I ever played with a friend, so I just remember having to play with a really bad AI. So if you and I played together, it'd, be, been okay, it'd be fun, but, but, it's, but more, it's not scary. Yeah, like, it's action. It takes away the fear. And that's why Resident Evil got me. Man, I really want you to play a Silent Hill now, but I can't think of which one to recommend. Homecoming, probably for 360, because no, it's backwards compatible. No, don't Isn't that a that. remake of the first and second no, one? No, don't do that. What you should do is just go get like a uh, go on YouTube or something and look for somebody to be describing what the story is throughout the games. Like, you know, just somebody's video on Silent Hill. It's creepier That's a good that, idea. It's creepier that way now, because back in the day, that game scared that pyramid head, chasing you through that underground shit. Man... That scared the hell out of me. Now, but it's it does not. The graphics do not age as all PlayStation games are. It doesn't age well at Especially all. Especially being early in the system. I remember yeah. I got to that game in like '99, and it was already a year or so. And I was like, "What is dude?" The music, this? the atmosphere, it makes you feel dirty. It's like gross. Even thinking about Silent Hill now, I'm like, "Ugh." Speaking of that, I know this has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but I saw on the PlayStation Network today, Manhunt was on sale for nine dollars. Really? And oh, I, and I never beat it like i i don't think got, i did either i got through like the first three levels uh once you got the chicken wire and then i had to return it and then my parents realized what i rented and i never got it playing again. what yeah I, pretty much you're playing a snuff film i preferred <laughs> i preferred the suffering to be out honest with you i loved suffering was great yeah. Suff- yeah, the, uh, yeah i like that better the first but, suffering yeah was really unique because you could jump between third and first person whenever yeah. you wanted that's was right it, was um was manhunt rockstar Yes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's one that they could bring back. God, those guys have a they library. Never and they just don't have to. They never will. Be. Oh yeah, they did one and two, and yeah, I don't. I'm surprised you can port it through PlayStation because I don't think you can in any other system. It's just on. It's just on their network. Period. I don't think Xbox or well, obviously. I thought nine dollars for that game was. Didn't they put that on Nintendo as well? Uh, At least the first uh, one uh, uh, on the on Manhunt the, Two, but it was uh, GameCube. No, it was Wii. I'm not weak. <laughs> I swear to God on my life. Weird. You can look it up right now if you want. Manhunt 2. I don't think it the first one ever came out on any other Nintendo platform, just Manhunt 2. And it was like this. Yep. Yeah, you're right. And it was a uh, dumbed down version. There's actually yeah. an there's actually an AO version, believe it or not, that was released on PC. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Fun facts only? Yeah. God, Max Payne's down there. I wanna I wish. 
Max Payne did not age well because every time you take a step, it's... Yeah. But the story is so awesome. I, they need to go back to that trippy, just crazy stuff. The Warriors. Huh? That was, never seen that movie? Never that was a rock. Game. That's You've probably seen the Warriors. most no. underrated game is The Warriors. I'm really surprised that you've never seen The Warriors just because it was kind of your era. I, you, and oh, it was okay. like gritty and like that's a really good beat em up, believe it or not. I yeah. have to say, I might have seen it when I was... Well, what year did that come out? I want to say like 78 or okay. something. So I might have seen it when I was five or six or something and if I watch it now, I might see parts of it. I'm like, ah, it rings a bell. But 79. I, Ooh, pretty yeah, damn so close. I was two when this came out. So yeah, cut me some slack. Anyway, here's your 20 questions. Let's do it. Game of the week. Game. 24 Set. years ago Match. on this day, September 9th of the good Lord. 1994. What year would that make that? 1994. I was in 11th grade. Justin and I kicked it off last week, Hugo. Take the floor. Uh, did this game start on arcade? Mm-hmm. Okay. That was a really good yes. start. That was a good question, by the way. I'm asking Justin this, not you. F-Zero never went to arcade. I don't think so. No. Okay, is this a racing game? No. Okay, so we're looking at beat 'em up Potentially, it's late. It could be a late Nintendo release. I th- I'm not sure. We can't look it up. I'm not sure when Super Nintendo came out originally. I want to say that was 96. <laughs> Justin. Is it a side-scrolling game? Uh, n- I mean, yes, but no. I don't, that's kind of weird. How do I say that? No, no. We'll just say no. No, 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 okay. no. Is it top-down? No. Okay. So I'm thinking puzzle. It could be... Is it based... Uh, is it you do franchise license? Yeah, is it based off a of previous license or franchise? Previous? Ugh. It's not licensed. I feel like that's two questions in one because you asked if it was a, pre- a previous franchise or a licensed franchise. I so, which one would you would like to ask? I would just say, is it a licensed franchise? Yes, is a licensed franchise. By that you mean if it was like a time cop game or something like that, like like RoboCop or like based on a movie yeah, it, or no. like okay. it was in arcades. Sorry, that's kind of a bad question. No, I that's all right. The, the best. Uh, is this a puzzle game? No. Okay. Uh, didn't you ask that already? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> Are there guns in this game? Uh, no. No guns. I already said driving. Flying game. Hmm. I don't know why I'm doing charades. Game. Does what? you count that as a driving game? A flying and a driving game. Okay. I would say it's. That's a free gimme. Where is are it we a at sports right now? Game? You have seven questions down. Is it a sports game? No. Not sports. Because it's not side scrolling. Because you got. Or top down. Did it ever. Uh, is it a, on a Nintendo console? At This year? No, what I'm like. Asking? No, not right now. Or ever. Like when it came out in '94, was it on the original Nintendo? No. Okay. And you were in the Super Nintendo era by that time. By yeah, that. you just said original. It doesn't matter. It didn't come out on Nintendo in 1984. Was this a Sega Genesis game? Yes. Okay. When it came out, yes. I'm get that gave you a free one, but yes, in 1994, it was a Sega Genesis game. Okay. Is it That's turn- ten down? Is it turn based? No. Fuck. Ah. <sighs> Let's see here. Hmm. Came out in the arcades. It's not a puzzle game, not a driving game, not a sports game. God, we always shoot not ourselves. A side in the, scroller. Where do we suck at this kind of? Not yeah. really. You get. I mean, you're asking the right questions now. You're getting better questions. You just mm-hmm. gotta. You know. Is it? Is it multiplayer? For is it more than one player? Yes. Compatible. Okay. Hmm. 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 Didn't come out on Nintendo, so I don't want to get hung up on that. It was Sega, not only Sega. But what else came out at but that time? But not f- ported from arcade. Um, well, 94. 94. That's, that's pretty early Sega. Sega. Sega was like 92, I think. Like I'm thinking like Columns. My cousin used to think it said Jacob. He got to say that. He <laughs> I was, was thinking brother. Altered Beast, but he said it wasn't side-scroller. It wasn't, is it a beat-em-up? Define what you mean by a beat 'em up as a as Do you a, defeat the enemies by punching and kicking them? Yes. 
double dragon. So you could ask. A so, so strength well, no, of rage. That, now wait a second. No, he just asked a question. He asked if you defeat your enemies by punching or kicking them. That's all he asked. He didn't ask about. Is genre. there more than one? Does this game have sequels? Yes. You okay. have six questions remaining. So what we can narrow down is what type of genre, as far as like, is it a space game? Is it like? But he said it's not side scroller in both Streets of Rage and what was the other one you said? Uh, I guess Golden Axes as well. Son of a bitch. This one's really hard. Hmm. I feel like it could be. I mean, what games were in 3D back in that time? <laughs> None. Well, the Saturn. When did the Saturn come out? Not 94. Later, like 96? 96, 97, maybe. Hmm. Because I was going to say, like, Sonic 3D. No, it's well, really He already 3D. asked if it was on Genesis, and I said yes. Okay. It came out on the Genesis. Yeah, plus, I don't think they went through 1, 2, Not and 3 by 94. The game made its appearance on the Sega Genesis in 1994. It was not on Nintendo in 1984. It is an arcade game. I'm only doing this for you because... Oh my God. Yeah, we should take these down. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is really tough. Like, I'm kind of stumped over here. You're, that Genesis is your wheelhouse. Yeah, I know. I'm more Nintendo over here. I'm just clawing, grasping for How many, anything. We have five questions You're, left? You got six left. Six you left. guys are thinking way too deep about it. You just need to... Uh, I wouldn't genres. go deep. I don't go deep. I, the very first one I did, but this all of these that I'm giving you are like. Is it a Sega? He said it came out. He it debuted with the Genesis. So what? No, I said in 1994 it came out on the Genesis, <clears throat> and it did not come out on Nintendo in 1994. It was in the arcades, also. So it's not a flying game. It's not a beat 'em up. It's not a racing game. It's not a racing game. It's not a side scroller. Oh my god, what else is there? Is it a fighting game? Yes. I already asked if it was a fighting no, game. No, you didn't. You said a beat em up. Or, no, no, I asked never, if, and I asked, if you punch and kick. Yes. So it's Clay Fighters. Or it could be... Um, I Are they still making these games somewhat? Yes. MK. Okay. <laughs> Mortal Kombat? It didn't come out originally. I mean, it would be Mortal Kombat 3. That was an arcade. Yeah. It came to Genesis, and then it went over to Nintendo without the blood. You have four more questions to ask Pacific. But I'm saying Mortal Kombat 1 did not come out on Genesis. More, neither did 2. I think it was only 3. No, it all Are you sure? Genesis. Of course I remember. You, this is your more your wheelhouse. Ask me about Mario and that other bullshit. Well, oh, fuck. I fucked up a question then. So it was, it did, it was on Nintendo. Is it Mortal Kombat? Was. Are you sure you want to ask that question? No. <laughs> uh, God, remember specifics, boy. Is there magic involved? Yes. Okay. Here's another one. Can you choose your character? Well, yeah. It's a fighting game. Do I have the chance to show my might? Yes. <laughs> is it? I don't want to. I don't know which one it is. Is it Mortal Kombat original? No. Oh, it's three, isn't it? No, two. it's two. God damn it! It's two. I was so fucking but close. I'll give you that because you said Mortal Kombat. I. I, I you can't specific year. Uh, I you get know, all of a sudden. Uh, uh, the thing sorry. is, Mortal Kombat One came out way earlier. Mortal Kombat Two was a ninety four or ninety five game. Was Mortal Kombat One ninety two then? You pff, might even yeah yeah. Wow. You can look it up there. You're the man behind that the was, keyboard. It, that was all good, of a sudden it snapped. I'm like, oh dude. I yeah. swear I asked if it was a fighting game earlier. Nope, you, nope never. I swear came. I did. I would have said yes. And I was kind of hook up to, hung up on side scroller because actually the screen does scroll to the side when you're like going through the you know on the long on the long uh, rounds at the mans. longer levels. Yeah, hmm. one of my favorite games of all time. That's that's probably one of the best Mortal Combats. Yes, Ultimate is tight though. You gotta I gotta admit. I mean, oh, dude, I was like eight, man. Come on. Oh man, these were so good. I remember playing this a lot, and my dad came into the room one time. And I was playing this. He never got my video game playing. He just never understood it. But he would sit out in the garage and take a whole Dad's never do, apart. man. Right. But then he saw this and he's just like, he just shook his head and walked out. And normally my dad's not like taken aback by anything. He's like, I'm not quite sure if that's okay for you to be playing that. Did you and show him like, like oh, fatalities? Or yeah. you just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I showed him. Uh, but it was just Liu Kang's thing, the burning one, where you burn him from the inside out. Oh, yeah. All just. Right. 
No wonder your dad was saying that. He's like, oh, this might desensitize you So what's your favorite old school uh, fatality? Me, personally, is uh, Kiss of Death. Kiss of Death is good, but it's not even a question for me. It's Sub-Zero's head rip with the spinal cord. Or Kano's heart rip. Kano's heart rip's pretty tight, though. Okay. What about Liu Kang turning into that dragon and shit? I was tight, but that that was going to be That was going to be mine. That's what we're talking about, though, Mortal Kombat 2. Oh, we're talking in two? Yeah. Okay, I have three solid in my head. Johnny Cage is rip you in half because yeah. the big thing of blood would come up, that big droplet of blood. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, <laughs> Jax's rip your arms off one was great. And then who was the last one? But I, it'd have to be... Hmm, man, that's tough. Shang Tsung being able to steal your soul. He lifts you up in the air and he sucks the soul. Oh, out that one was like creepy. And then you just drop. Yeah. Was two or three the one where they introduced the stage fatalities? Two. I like those. I remember arcade. the pit. The pit was awesome with the well, big they, spinning wheels. I think it was in the arcade where if you died in the arcade and you know it was the continue screen, you were like falling down. Or maybe that was three then. That could have been three, but you were falling down the pit like or, or like a well. But it was like around you and you were like circling the camera, circling around you. And then at the end, when if you didn't continue, you'd land on the Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't remember which one that was. I want to say the one when you brought that up, I might sneeze, excuse me, but I, it was uh, the Mortal Kombat 64. That was the first time I've really seen like the spikes and shit like that. I want to say and maybe was, I'm wrong. That I don't know. One of the first ones in 3D too. Yeah, also. that's what I mean. Yeah. So that would make sense, but I could be wrong at the same time. Listeners, what's your favorite fatality from the older Mortal Kombat entries? Let us know in the comments and below, it, below, it, below. I can't wait till the next one. Every time I see him, I'm just like, I have so much fun with those seeing the fatalities we, uh, and doing stuff. We played a little, a couple matches of the new one a couple weeks ago, right? I love Mortal Kombat. I love. I it. do too. And Justice is very good too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Midway but Mortal just Kombat just satisfies doing. every just just horrible urge you have, <laughs> especially when you get off of work. Like, hey, I could rip somebody's spine out right now. That'd be it. I just suck at those games in general. Oh man, I, I love them so yeah. much. Yeah, you're Racing good at them. Mortal Kombat is my shit. You're good at them. It's em. just direction, I'm not, direction, button. Yeah, yeah. I'm not good with that. Shit. I'm not good with like Street Fighters though, because it has like these weird button combinations. Or, that uh, it's just foreign to me. Or Marvel Capcom. Yeah. 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 I just button mash on those. But Mortal Kombat, I'm like specifically putting in inputs and it, everything feels great. Flows together. I He's love He's been doing Mortal it for 27 yeah, man. years, man. Yeah, dude. Ha- over half my life, I've played Mortal Kombat. It's freaking crazy. But good guy. It's that was like a, whittling. That was a good job, though. You guys worked through it. Took your yeah, time. Yeah, I feel like you. Yeah, we started off weak but ended strong there. But I'm glad I didn't ask that dumb fucking question. Does your character wear a hat? <laughs> that would have been a yes. <laughs> hmm, 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 which hmm. one all of them see when Most i first said that it came out on genesis first not nintendo i was thinking of one that was my problem because the first one that's why i out. said one yeah it was my bad i gave it to you okay i'll give it to you you're right all right good times good, good times should we move on to the next subject next subject Insomniac graced the world with this beautiful game. I'm sorry, it's a PlayStation exclusive, which I think is kind of bullshit because I've been doing a lot of research into the PlayStation Pro. Not saying I wanted to really buy it, but after our conversations about it, I wanted to actually see what the difference was. There's none. No. It's stupid. It's up It's not a true native. I mean, I saw the before and after streamed on YouTube where it's like PlayStation Original and then PlayStation 4 Pro. But the thing that you need to know is on my original PlayStation, it still puts me in HDR, even though I have the original PlayStation. That's why they said they're doing it on PlayStation only? No, I'm just saying oh. that it's just an exclusive, and I know you guys only have Xbox. Well, it's because I'm just waiting for you to go Sony on Spider Man again. Yeah, pretty much, I'm which just won't happen the way work's going lately. <laughs> but I knew uh, you were going to buy this. I, I didn't. I want to buy this. Oh, this is the and one. I don't have a PlayStation. I wasn't going to, but then I heard the hype, and then I was taking my beautiful girlfriend out for dinner, and there's a GameStop right there, and then I looked up. I have Mario Tennis Aces. I never play that game, and I could get thirty for it. So I'm just like, we, we we played that game. We did, but I don't ever really play that game. We pun intended. I like that. I uh, when we played that, I, I kind of didn't like it. It didn't feel like tennis. I don't know. Right. And then I played online, and I got beat by five year olds. So I'm just a salty old man. Well, welcome to the yeah. internet. Welcome to Japan. So, anyways, I decided to turn it in. I'm just like, whatever. I paid thirty two bucks for it. Uh, more than worth it. Uh, it's gorgeous. Even on the regular PlayStation. Uh, go ahead. I, well, I just want to say this. I really want to play this game. But I watched a lot of, about it. Not story spoilers, nothing. I just wanted to know how it, whatever. 
it's for me it's not a system seller yet when last of us comes out that will be the one when i'm like yep oh shit fucking go come sit over here and stop watching them peckers anyway uh that will be my system seller probably well and it's gonna be I'll ps5 be, no no last of us will, will come out cheeseburger bet right now in the year last of us is coming out on playstation 5 well no it'll be out on playstation 5 yeah and that's it Okay, it's not going to come out on PlayStation 4 10. No. I'll bet you right now. No, it won't. I'll bet you right now. Touch my sweaty oh, hand. There we go. You just bet a cheeseburger. Jake bet, a, Jake bet you a cheeseburger that he thinks it'll come out on PlayStation 4. A Trapper's 4? cheeseburger. Trapper's burger. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to happen. No, last time And you two, think it's going to come out on PlayStation 5? Yeah. I, he said it won't come out until then. It won't come out until then, period. No, it'll be on PlayStation. Guarantee it. Nope. And that's years away. Nope. Not All happy. they have ready is just like one or two missions, I think, right now, and they're going. Anywho, let's get back to Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. Spider Man, it just looks like, yep, that's gonna look, that's gonna be fun. I guess one thing that I really appreciated from it, and I, I'm not gonna get into spoilers, so we're not gonna go on this for drag this out forever because we don't need to because we got other things we got to talk about tonight. But this isn't beating you down with the old Uncle Ben died story. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like an origin story. No, it starts where he's been Spider-Man for like... He's already been Spider-Man for, I think, like seven years or something like that. And uh, It's like Homecoming. They skipped all the... He already broke already up seen. with Mary Jane. Uh, there's a cool shot right at the very beginning after you press New Game where you see a spider in the windowsill and then it pans over and his alarm's going off and you see a picture where it shows Uncle Ben's picture when he was born and when he died and then uh, all you need to do yeah pretty much and then like he hopped out of bed and like it there's like funny quips about this game that i'm really appreciating like he got up and threw toast in the toaster and then his uh, boxers had little spider-man on them mm. like he's an already established franchise character then your first mission it's not that's clever writing kind of for a video game no it's super clever um it's insomnia. There's yeah. one thing I really want to talk about, but I got a spoil for me on a podcast, but it has something to do with Alex Jones and a certain disgruntled character that's on a podcast. For people who play it, they know what I'm talking about, but so far that's one of my favorite like inside baseball things, especially if you read the comics, which I didn't read all, them all. I only well, read It's a uh, I uh you can say it. Jonah Jameson has a podcast instead of. So yeah, yeah, he's like Alex Jones, and as Spider Man, you like you're swinging around listening to J- Jonah Jameson like bitch about you, like oh, Alex he, Jones. Oh really? That Spider Man is nothing but a menace. <laughs> this that oh, and the other thing because cool. he got fired from the Daily Bugle. How is it swinging around? Is it does it feel good? It's easy, intuitive. It I I absolutely I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of lost for words, because the last true Spider-Man game I played was the licensed game that came out for PlayStation 2. Spider-Man yeah. 2, that was the last good one, for Yeah, honesty. And I don't know if that followed, like, Tobey Maguire's storyline. And see, I haven't even run down on the ground e- even at all. I've just been... Yeah, he, like, talks to people. Yeah, you can. He's like, hey, Spider-Man! Hey, Spider-Man! Show me how you climb on them walls! Yeah. <laughs> Give me a hot dog! Yeah. The game has very, very close similarities to like arkham horror or arkham, arkham, arkham horror. i'm sorry arkham asylum thank arkham you city <laughs> yeah there's nothing wrong not with that batman batman i like how he sits when he when he's just up on like a perch and stuff it looks pretty sweet i don't like that how's suit. the aiming because you have to be really good at aiming so it looks it's like in this game it, it kind of auto aims for you okay so like you can when you're beating people up you press l1 and r1 at the same time and he'll grab a trash can and like swing it over his head and then slam like the nearest enemy and the enemies that you're attacking you don't have to like target them specifically they'll just be highlighted in white but in a way as it you guys have played a batman game it's like a that's rhythm so cool. game that's what it is because it's like you you beat people up and then all of a sudden you got to dodge because your spidey sense will go off and okay. then you press circle okay so it's just that repeat rinse and repeat process plus with like uh like a uh a fighting game element where it's like you kind of have to know certain combos because like if you hold square you can do an uppercut punch them into the air hold triangle and then you web them in the air and then slam them down on somebody else Mm. there's times like his finisher moves i'm like damn like yeah it's it's actually pretty violent like i'm surprised i wish they took the violence up to another point like one of my downfalls with this game is i came on this mission specifically this dude was standing on an edge 
and I came down behind him and I swung him and I hit him off the building and the game for some reason like wouldn't allow him to fall so he uh-huh. like whoop he like went up and then like got moved over and then placed back <laughs> <laughs> like I laughed go so ahead sorry code. I, I've seen parts where there's like guys gonna shoot at you and like that with that line right there like your spidey sense shows you there's like a line coming at you they got the they got you in their sights and where the bullets are going yeah. yeah that's pretty cool um is there do you like unlock like a bunch of different stuff like moves and webbing tricks and all that kind of stuff yeah you have a whole skill tree i can't remember what three specific areas you focus on but you can upgrade like your defenses your swinging abilities and then your attacks i believe and then there's also like different things there's story related so i don't really want to spoil it but i've listened to other things and i've heard that you're supposed to kind of mainline for a little while and then start doing side missions have said don't even play the game i've heard and they do all the side stuff first and then they go through the game i've heard just like yeah run around i've heard the opposite Hmm. because the stuff on the ground's endless as it would be in a regular city where it's like we got a robbery and we got a car chase we got an assault happening it's like constant like when you're heading to the next mission there's always something going on that do you, you feel can like drop you're in. spider-man yes okay that's good. and he's like yeah. good question <laughs> and that is a good question there's like an accomplice that you have at the police station and like spider-man's like just as witty and like snarky as he should be as you think that he should be like you're swinging around he's like spider cops on the mission he's on the tail again of another <laughs> of another criminal spider cop will save the he keeps like referencing him himself as spider cop i don't know i haven't gotten that far but he's it it stays so true to peter parker's character and i know it kind of my favorite part is not my my least favorite part is not dealing with peter as a person in a way i feel like that kind of detracts away but it also aids because it is a peter parker story but i'd rather just play as spider-man the whole time well these are the guys that made uh infamous so they know what they're doing with like traversal and combat this is lagging out a little bit but uh, um do they can you unlock suits Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Big time. There's tons. I've already had some spoiled for me. This some is what I love to do. Climb to the highest point yeah. and then just like look or jump. I remember doing that in Spider-Man 2. Climbing to the top of the Empire and then like falling and, yeah. and webbing at the last minute like before I hit the platform. Too. Yeah, you hold L3 to do a swan dive. Wow. That reminds me of Crackdown. Look how that city looks, man. Yeah. Um, is it big? Does it? I mean. Yeah, it, it's it's too big in a way. Okay. Um, the, there's radio towers i don't it's very similar to a lot of different games but you unlock yeah. you unlock radio towers and then that will open up like the grid for that area then you can see everything in it there's like backpacks kind of like far cry did yep you there's like backpacks that you left behind from like previous years he's like oh my old backpack and then we'll have like an old piece of memorabilia from like seven years ago so on and so forth um there I guess in a way, yes, this is not like a huge system seller. Like by January, this game will be $30. Mm, We'll see. I I think so. Well, probably what's got a war is got a word dropped yet. It probably will. Yeah, it already has. Um, If you have a PlayStation, pick it up. You just have to. Yeah. What I don't know. What, I, don't I just know. noticed there was an Xbox commercial in the middle oh. of our PlayStation video. He's <laughs> just like, hey, we're still here. <laughs> you know, pe- I think it's stupid PUBG. Oh, yeah. Be. Ooh, the full release. All right. Now available? Is that what that said? Yeah. So they're so, yeah. fully released now, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of nice for, I mean, sidetracking for a second with PUBG, the people that did adopt it early, I don't know how much they're charging for it now, but now they get all the content for free. Dude, I, that's why I don't kickstart, man. I mean, as much as I believe in it, it doesn't seem like it ends up being a deal at all in any way. Hmm. Yeah, this game looks sweet, man. I, I'm sure I would love the shit out Look of it. Look at that finisher. Just, yeah, this is one of those games I kind of want to buy a PlayStation for. I mean, they're cheap. I told my I told my other cousin. He's like, "Hey, you should let me borrow your PlayStation and Bloodborne." I'm just like, "Go fucking buy one." Yeah. They're two. Like, you can literally get a PlayStation and Bloodborne for two hundred twenty dollars. Bloodborne really? like ten bucks. Yeah, you can buy Bloodborne for like ten dollars. That's what I mean. No, PlayStation fours are very cheap. We're two years out from the next. Yeah, they're con- ninety nine, man. The next console iteration is on its way. I mm. bought mine my, my Slim for one ninety nine at Costco for no, it was two eighty nine. With two controllers and a game. Yeah, but for someone like you, Justin, you wouldn't really need that. No, I would probably get about five games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's what, but that's the thing what a is, PlayStation's dude, for, though, is those five games are the ones that yeah. you're but just But, like, dude, I can so borrow good. you those games, too. That's true. No, I know, but I've, still. I've got a lot of them, and I've beaten a lot of them. Uh, 
So you could definitely borrow them if you decided to pick up on something like this. This is going to be my next go-to game for a while. Um, one thing, I, like I said, I did appreciate about it is that it has high dynamic range. So w- with the new TV I got, I feel yeah. like I'm not, I'm not like wasting my time playing, which sounds stupid, but it's like I have an Xbox One X, and now I'm not using it to play Spider-Man. But it's like it kind of makes up for it. It's not 4K, but it does a really good job it looks gorgeous the frame rates run pretty smooth from what i've seen all this feels very intuitive does uh does it look as good as god of war like that good it's comparable okay the city and the lighting looks amazing it's kind of like apples to oranges in in a way i don't know it's hard to compare those two games different colors different color does, palettes does it flow though like the like the swinging flow. yes it, okay. like i said it feels like a rhythm game like it's kind of playing itself where you're just in a way button mashing just like the batman games where it's like oh you're in, see i haven't got all these special abilities where you're doing slow motion but like say when you're sp- i have the special sense now that i just got like when somebody's going to shoot at you or punch you there's instead of it being white it's blue and it's called like a perfect dodge and then I'll get more focus. See, focus is what you build up when you punch people. You have a meter up here, a combo meter, and then you have a focus meter. And focus will help you regain health or it will help you do finishers. Hmm. And then at the beginning of some missions, it will be give you like an added like bonus for XP where it's like uh, web 10 guys to a wall and perform 10 finishers for like an added bonus to your like XP level overall. So they're just like small little uh, challenges that they kind of hmm. present to you to make it a little bit more interesting. I've heard it, some of the battling gets a little or the combat gets a little repetitive at times. But what do you expect? Yeah, it's a fighter. It's Looks a, sweet. I'll have to play it someday. So you're going to be, do, do we have any finishing thoughts? That's all I want to say. I don't want to spoil this game. Um, go out and pick it up. It's the best Spider-Man, if not best superhero game I've ever played in my life so far. And that's three hours in. So I'm only about 6% in. So I have not seen any of the Sinister Six. I've only dealt with Fisk, which is not a spoiler because yeah. he's the first mission and everybody yeah. knows about that. Sinister Six is in this? I it's don't know. It's a, it's a Spider-Man game, so I'm assuming. The commercials showed Rhino, uh, Scorpion, and Vulture for sure. So, Plus an, a newer antagonist. Yeah. Which I don't want to spoil it, but I guess the well, commercials, the commercials already did. That, too. that was a glowing guy, right? Yeah, Mr. Negative. Yeah, Mr. Negative, yeah. Something like that. It, Justin in a video game. Yeah. Just well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking the of most negative guy in the show. I just want to mention real quick, I, did, I am playing Forsaken on destiny and if you're a destiny player and if you are like maybe kind of taken aback by their other dlcs that came out and they weren't really worth the money and you're kind of worried about it definitely put definitely buy this it's way worth it they changed everything the meta of the game is different i heard it got good the story was good it's just kind of like trying to join a magic the gathering round at like a dream vault game where it's like you're so far behind you don't have the deck built dude you would if you, you can't jump in, in with me if you popped in with me, you'd be we'd get you. I'd get you up to level in one place. It. So I know. Don't it's worry just about. the slog of it. There's no slog. You guys make it a slog. I don't know. I, I, it's debatable. If, if, if it's a slog, I wouldn't be playing as many hours as I ever did. Because I really don't. If a game is a grind like that, I wouldn't play it unless it was good. So I just I don't know. Justin has a negative opinion. I think because of how much I trashed the first game before it came out. <laughs> and then, I like the first game personally. I do too. I love it. It's one of my favorite experiences ever. But you don't ever play anymore, so. Yeah, I know. Well, what I've already said I'm trying to get better with picking games and finishing them, and I'm going to segue. If we have any final thoughts on Spider-Man, now or forever, hold your peace. I think I asked all my questions. I mean, I'll play it when someday. Someday. Yeah, someday. one day I'll play it. I'm not going to run out and buy a Go PlayStation. Crazy or anything. No. 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 I don't think that's necessary either. I mean, it's an awesome game, but it's not like, dude, it's not like Last of Us 2, like mm-hmm. we were getting on about. But this game, however, at some point, you have to play it. Detroit Become Human. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll play it someday. You're, gonna, you're not going to believe me, and you're going you're gonna to argue with me about this, but it's my game of the year so far. No, I've heard that from a couple people. For sure, like even against God of War, like God of War was an absolutely See, that would amazing be, game so far that's mine because that's i didn't I haven't played detroit though so. so they're so neck and neck it's hard look at that guy's face the oh, fans Jesus. forced me to do this 
That's no. uh, what's his face? Don't Luke Keep talking. Lance Henderson. Sorry, go ahead. The narrative in Detroit Become Human is like telltale. It, it's it. It's like you know how you have Forza Horizon, and then you have Need for Speed nowadays. Detroit Become Human is Forza Horizon. And Need for Speed is like a Telltale game. Yeah. Where this game just takes the Telltale formula and ups it times. It's probably the last one you'll see from this studio. I don't blame them. Like, each each tree at, at the end of each mission of, like, what you can fuck up and what you can do, it's so crazy. Like, especially in the end game, Betsy came home one day and I'm, like, right at the, right at the verge of beating it. And uh, she was like, well, is that the whole skill tree? And I'm just like, for the whole game, I'm just like, no, it's literally, that was just one mission. This game's got a lot of depth. It's got a lot of, like, character development. You follow three, I've already talked about this game yeah, this is in full um, force. What's but, the what's the studio for this? The Indigo Prophecy guys. Yeah, the, uh, David Cage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. on the tip of my tongue. I'm sorry, I should have this pulled up. Yeah, I can remember it. Keep talking. Um, I started playing. Let's see, Thursday night because it was kind of in the wake of Spider Man. Like I was, I was like, okay, if I want to play Spider Man, and I probably shouldn't play Spider Man, but if I was gonna play Spider Man, I should probably get this off my list before I went on to play. Spider-Man. Drink every time I say Spider-Man. Um, I died. M- the ending and the whole story arc reminded me of Handmaid's Tale, believe it or not, where they're, the androids, I, it's not really a spoiler, they're trying to get out of America for a better Dystopia life. Dystopia kind of society. Yeah. Everybody's pissed off at the androids because they took their job, they did this, they did that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, if you have a chance to play this game, you absolutely have to. Uh, the choices I heard it's worth two playthroughs. It's about ten to twelve hours long, but the end game was like holy shit. And your choices absolutely matter. You it's similar to like an Until Dawn where you can kill everyone or save everyone. There are that's main, another game I want to get a PlayStation Four. That's all right. I think I got a little loud there. Yeah. So like our main uh, protagonist Connor, he's pretty much just like an investigative droid. I killed him three times. Oh dang. And. Uh, I I want to spoil this game so bad because I and I would love for you guys to play it just to see what ending you got you what conclusion you came to but it it deals with some very interesting Blade Runner esque themes and it does it very well for a video game so if you're a fan at all of Blade Runner or even like that altered carbon show that you were getting on about yeah. dealing with empathy and robots having emp- empathy and like one of the guys i'm not going to spoil this but he kind of becomes like a revolutionary for the androids and then you have a choice to either become violent like a revolutionist or you could like stage peaceful protests and then things of that nature it sounds like it'd be a good let's play or something it it would be um especially with other people watching my game of the year hands down so the thing i don't like about it and the thing that i do things i do like about it one thing that i don't like about it is that you walk around you're walking around just like a telltale game and you're just like picking up clues. The thing I like about it is that once you pick up clues, you reenact crime scenes and then you can like construct them in like a grid vector based like symmetry of like the people in front of you where you see like tables knocked over and then like you find hidden androids and then you f- figure out like where their uh, what their motive was when because basically you're trying to find deviants like androids that gained empathy and want their own freedom, so on and so forth. Mm. So in, in some respects, it has a lot of social, some social du- justice messages behind that, but I don't feel it's he- really heavy handed. It's just like a good uh, cyberpunk David, story. It's David Cage. It's David Cage. I haven't played Heavy Rain. I've never played Beyond Two Souls. This is like the second, I've only, I played Until Dawn. So other than that. Was that them? No, it was not. That's Visceral. Oh, okay. Was that but, Visceral? No, that was uh, the same people. Was no, I, sure? I didn't think it was. I didn't think it I was. could be wrong, everybody. Quantic, sorry, I'm an idiot. Quantic Dream. Quantic, Quantic Dream. Dream. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Quantic Dream didn't do Until Dawn. I think you're right. No, you're right. You're right. We should, I'm going to look that up right now. Who did that? Because we got to give a shout out to The game is wrong. gorgeous. And it asks you very interesting, very thought-provoking questions. Not just like regular questions that this type of game would ask ask and when you start up the game at the main screen there's this very beautiful blo- that, that's what i'm talking about where you reenact crime scenes Ooh, man you like time travel and stuff. yeah pretty much um just based on super massive super massive i'm sorry thank you i can't say it enough 
if you have a PlayStation, pick this game up because so far, next to God of War, this is my game of the year. Everybody's game of the year is already taken because we all know it's going to be Red Dead 2, and that's okay because that game's going to be absolutely amazing. But for me right now, I enjoyed this game thoroughly. It kept me engaged. There's a lot of like, oh shit moments. There's a lot like the battling, it's all quick time events. But if you fuck up one button, that could be the detriment of your whole character, storyline, everything you've been working for. You have to get through certain checkpoints. You use fake IDs, so you have to lie your way through. There, It's like very tense, heavy moments, whereas like with God of War, you have that, but at the same time, it's all about the battling. It's about just making it through. The, yes, there was a story. Yes, it was intriguing. There was big moments in there. There's also bigger moments in here, and, and it's more of a human story. That's more of a fantasy world, which was done impeccably well, but this is a little bit more grounded where it asks questions like, Will androids, is androids a threat to humanity? And what one of my favorite parts, it's not a spoiler in, in a sense, but you get to meet your maker. Connor gets to meet, meet the guy that created him. And that was one of the most interesting parts of this entire game. Kind of reminds me of Westworld, too. It's Westworld, Blade Runner, all those type of similar themed game, yeah. or movies, shows, whatever you want to say. But the trees on what could happen your end results they're so extensive a madman a fucking crazy wizard madman and a team of them would ha- only be able to construct something as gorgeous intricate and enveloping as this game is or people that worked 80 hours a week no seriously like if you look how pretty th- I, this isn't a great representation because i'm sure it's like 720 but on a good tv with hdr Oh my God. It, it's probably one of the better looking games I've ever seen in my entire life. Granted, it's a lot of like major predetermined set pieces, but like this is a hostage situation. This is like the first mission. And then you have, obviously, it's in some type of different language, but you have different choices. That's not Japanese there, Daryl. Is it? <laughs> I have, Jake might be right. Yeah, probably. But you can barter with him, and then it tells you the probability of how much he's going to listen to you. Or there's an interrogation scene where you're trying to get information out of him before he self destructs. Um, not that specific uh, Android, but yeah, I'm gushing too much about this game. But I'm glad I made it through. Uh, the ending was like holy shit for me. There's a lot of big, awesome action scenes that kept me engaged and my hands were sweating. Mm. And like, it was also in the same sense, like a rhythm game because I was like staring at the TV, not blinking because you miss one button and your character can get shot. Mm -hmm. And then that could be the end. So on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to, that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that's another one I'll pick it's up. It's another PlayStation exclusive, and that's why PlayStation is so popular. They sold over 50 million PlayStations in their entire lifespan, I think. Yeah. Because I just released the 50 million PlayStation Pro or something like that for $500, which I don't know why you would do that, but especially being so close to the next console iteration. But you I'll, know. I'll, I'll pay for an X for 500 bucks but i would never buy a, pl- a pro for 500 i'll just you don't get the hd player there's some it has a two terabyte hard drive though that is that is good no nope. all right oh justin justin what's what's wrong bud are you You'll signing find out. There? oh no i You'll already find know. out oh what's happening why don't you suck a dick what <laughs> what are you yelling at me for i'm just asking because you're being wrong. a smart ass no Ad- i'm just you're sighing over adult there adult content sad face and <laughs> Red face, you yeah, know. you're you're so concerned. It's only week one. Remember, that's, that's what, what you told about. me. <laughs> I know that's what I told. That's what I. He's told in me. reference to the Packers Chicago game right now. Chicago's up ten. Packers They'll are at win. zero. They'll that's win. this is Sunday night, Packers so it'll be old. New, this will be old news by the time you listen. Is to it, it even halftime yet? Just of this show, I hope so. No, of the game. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been blathering on too long. Okay. um just a few other things and then who has a secret question this week anybody i can dr- dig one up all right i'm gonna dig one up horror movies i got to three of them oh yeah you list. probably never seen this movie that i'm gonna talk about but this is justin's wheelhouse justin borrowed me uh a delightful pick produced by brian singer trick or treat i haven't seen that you've you never ha- seen trick or treat you have said to this last week oh my god you have to Really? Because it's only an hour twenty minute long, twenty minutes long, but it's so worth it. It kind of mashes so many different genres of horror movies, but it's mostly a horror comedy. Hmm. Um, 
I don't like Brian Singer at all. There's a couple. I think that's why he said, "It's you, you said only produced. It's not directed." By no, him. it's not directed yeah. by him. But with that being said, it's an absolutely delightful horror film. It's not even horror. It's just like a Halloween themed film with some twist to it, where you're just like, "Oh shit." It's it's like a anthology. It's kind of like uh, oh, I thought this was the old school one with no. the pumpkin and the knife on. This reminds the me cover. of like a a creep show. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I have to watch that maybe. So it's like got that a really guy, good cast too. So, yeah, so there's like four different stories happening at once. Hmm. So it's like a monster movie, a psychological thriller movie, a vampire movie. I don't want to spoil anything else, but there was a couple <laughs> scenes where I. Where I'm like, holy shit. And then at the same time, it's also d- has a lot of practical effects. It doesn't shy away from any practical effects. It's got Anna I think pa- the end is the only CGI. Yeah. And that's like the stupidest part. Yeah. Anna Paquin. Yeah. Brian Rogue. Cox. Anna Paquin. Yeah, Brian Cox. Yeah. And you know, the funny thing was, is I didn't look at the the cast and I heard his voice. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Mm. I know that guy. There's a dude in uh, Forsaken. I can recognize the voice like all hidden by like, you know, computer effects and stuff like that. But he's in uh, Ozark. He's like, oh. the, did you see Ozark season one, right? No. Oh, do you? Yes. Okay. It's buddy. Yes. The old guy. He's in destiny too. Oh yeah. yeah that's, he, um, oh, never mind. That's the, uh, I remember that guy is the judge from Ghostbusters too. That's true. He's been a lot yeah. of shit, man. Have you, have you started season two yet? Of Ozark? Yeah. I'm almost done. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, it's been nuts. Yeah, it's a good show, man. <laughs> Did you notice the sound in that show? Like, if you have a surround sound system or something like that, when shit starts going bad, there's this bass rumble in the music. Oh, really? I don't have a surround sound. Oh, my God. It's like, well, no, my TV vibrates because it's like, wow. But it, it's a good trade. You can it's hear it coming. You're like, oh, shit. Great show. Jason Bateman's the shit. I don't care what anybody says. That guy can act. He doesn't have a wide range, but I still like his... Yep. I'm sick of his stupid-ass daughter, though. It's like, would you shut the fuck up? Stop oh, causing know. problems. Why I are know. all these kids? It's like um, A Quiet Place. Yeah. Like, stop causing problems <laughs> in an apocalypse. You want to die? Sake. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Anyway, but it's a great show. I highly recommend it. We've yeah, that's kind of what I've been watching now. lately is the new season yeah, of that. It's so good. Yeah, I think I'm... Uh, last two episodes, I think I have left. Okay. I think. Okay. So, yeah. Almost done. Okay. Speaking of, like, weird noises, the Babadook, have you ever seen that? <laughs> what are you talking about weird noises? <laughs> oh, the sound of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because I was having to, like, literally hold the controller in my hand last night, like, oh, shit. I have not seen Babadook. It, I know it's on Netflix. I should watch it. It's, mm, it's one of the better horror movies of our time, not simply because it's scary and it deals with, like, kind of a monster, but there's an underlying message of, like, grief and loss just kind of sewn throughout that entire movie that plays off really well to like certain older horror tropes would i like it i think so it's not like yeah, yeah you like it it's not your run-of-the-mill horror movie and the ending too you're just like okay i'll watch it I'll one watch of those it. things i said i i got th- halfway through uh green street hooligans just so Eric knows. <laughs> Why only halfway? halfway? Dude, I'm so tired, man. I've, I've, you know, I'm back for the work, last. So it's like Jesus. Three weeks, dude. I'm telling you, like I have. Eric, you have our permission to beat him. No, up. I, I'm on reboot mode right now. Between like big releases of games, I've been on like this two month reboot mode where I haven't played much at all. I kind of dabble here and there, but I just watch, kind of watch sports, and I kind of watch, you know, all right. stuff here and there. So I, I'll get on it. It's just, trust me, I. I go on, you know how the terrors I go on where I just start, that's all I do is watch movies for like three weeks. So, so hey, Eric, you don't have to explain so it to fun. us. You got to explain it to Eric. Actually, why am I saying sorry to Eric? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> all right, anyway. <laughs> uh, so the last one, I didn't take his advice, but it's the next one on my list. Alien, he wanted me to watch, Eric wanted me to watch Alien. What that, was on the list? I have 56 movies on that list. Right, but Alien was up there. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I'm letting my girlfriend pick which ones she wants to see, and I've suggested to get some of the scarier ones out of the way. Mm. And she doesn't like ghosts okay. and things of that nature, paranormal movies. So I thought a good Friday night flick would be the first paranormal activity. <laughs> oh, hey. Just a fr- that. I mean, for somebody that believes wholeheartedly in that type of thing, it's a freaky movie. Yeah, it got me. Especially because she told me after we watched that movie that her house burned down as a kid. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not great. Did you like matches, sweetie? <laughs> oh, it was just very freaky. Yeah. Um, that movie didn't really scare me. I saw it in the theaters. but um, Freaked me the fuck out. 
I was, didn't watch any more of them either. It, oh, really? It, yeah, it's to the point where I was just like, I don't want to watch that. I didn't. But I have that kind of... She was you know, She was like, it wasn't that bad. They she's, overhyped it by the time I got to it. Yeah, the scariest she's a, movie you'll ever see. It's like, oh, damn, I'm going to see that. And then, oh. Uh, my problem with that movie is, as soon as that house shook, like it does, oh, boom. Yeah, bye, bitch. Love you, but you got some issues. I'm out of here. Like, seriously, I'm not fucking around, and I'm not going to stick around for nothing. Hey, that's the only problem. Oh, I she have. kills him anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, yeah. Justin, yeah. do we have any comments, suggestions? I don't week. think we do. No one loves us. No, it was kind of a short week though because we did late last week. That is true. Of the weekend, we had a weird turnover. A short week, so yeah, because we didn't post until like Wednesday last week. Sorry oh, about yeah, that, everybody. Because we had the Labor Day. Well, we're just kind of gearing everybody up for our new schedule. So now we'll have a little yeah, bit longer of a turnover. Yeah, that's the ticket. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we don't have any secret questions. I got to carry the weight. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I have a. I've Mary got F. one, but it's question again. I've got one, but it's real dumb. Justin doesn't I don't like, like those. those. Okay. <laughs> With dudes? Okay. No, I wouldn't do that again. I just did that for fantasy football oh, thing. Okay. There's a there's just good seems ones. Uh, yeah. Just lay it down. Fuck it. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay. I'm drawing a blank on her name. Jessica Biel. Hmm. Gwen Stefani. Hmm. And uh, what's what's her name from Dust Till Dawn? The, you know who I'm talking about. She was yeah. in Desperado. Selma Hayek. Yes, or Selma Hayek. Gwen Stefani. That, that's our secret question this week. Jessica Biel. <laughs> Gwen Stefani. Okay, here's what I do. Okay. I am going to kill Selma, marry Jessica, and doink Gwen Stefani. Kill hey. Stefani. Mary Beal. No, Mary Hayek, because she can make me some good food. And she's got... And... She's got huge tracts of land. Whatever's left, yeah. Beal. I would... Romp in the hay. F. Selma. Selma Hayek. I would marry Gwen Stefani. You would. And you I set would that up ki- for yourself. And I would kill Jessica Beale only because... You like to play t-ball. She was... You basically she, set that question up for yourself. She was... She was... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about it now. Uh, because Jessica Beale was more awesome way back in the day, like Seventh Heaven Days and and things like... Before Justin Timberlake defiled her. Uh, what was that new show I watched that she was in? Oh, man. The, I'll have to look that Didn't up. did she like to produce it or something or direct it or something like it that? It was her and Bill Pullman. I watched it and it, Matt recommended it and it was it's on uh, is it AMC. There's two seasons. It was weird. I can't remember what it was called. Give me a moment. She just hasn't aged well. Gwen Stefani is still the gorgeous. Jessica Biel aged well. No, I I disagree. And I really? used to love her. Yeah. The show is called right. The Sinner. Oh yeah, I heard about that. It was super weird. Yeah. Matt recommended that. Thank you, Matt. Salman Hayek though is like ageless, man. Hmm. That it's unbelievable. She's like fifty. What the hell is she? Fifty something? Justin? I I'd have to look. Man on the man behind the screen, or whatever your name is over there. She and she's not married to Antonio anymore either. I didn't know that. Fifty two, man. Hmm. I got them. Puss in boots. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Do you have a uh, secret question there, Justin? No, or, I uh, thought Daryl did. Alright. This is kind of a hard one. So I'm sorry. That's what she said. What <laughs> movie would be greatly improved if it was made into a musical? What movie would be greatly improved hmm. if it was made into a musical? First one that came to my mind, RoboCop. Why? That would it'd be, be hilarious. Movie. Why do you want RoboCop to be hilarious? I think because they already made the PG-13 version, they ruined it anyways. Yeah. So. <laughs> I got one. Okay. Battlefield Earth, because nothing could make that any worse. <laughs> so it would ob- automatically improve it. That's the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You want to make something into a musical? Yes, oh. to improve it. The yeah. Sixth Sense. Seven. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be funny. <laughs> fight Club. I want to fight. I want to fight. We're going to fight each other. <laughs> Please punch me in the face as hard as you can. 
<laughs> and we will tell no one. First rule, first rule. Yeah. <laughs> it is our first rule. It's me. Yeah, I feel like anything he that has, has tits. like... He has <laughs> tits. I'm Edward Norton, and I like to shop at Ikea. Beat his face, beat his face. Beat, 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 beat his face. Beat his face. I have a split personality. The Matrix. Here comes the skis. Here comes the skis. <laughs> you are the one, Neo. Let us fight in the dojo inside of a virtual reality simulation. Morpheus, Morpheus, Morpheus. Morpheus. And he's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just him with the hand. Oh, yeah. shit. Justin's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to find a movie that I want to ruin just by pick, adding music. No, to just it. literally, I guess pick any movie because it's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just it's more a facetious <laughs> question. Kind of. It's just like I don't know. Beetlejuice. That'd be funny. That would be a good musical. Dude, Beetlejuice would be yeah. a good musical. Yeah. Thank I you. I mean, there's a lot of movies that become musicals and stuff, and they're like, that's that's on Broadway now. What? Hmm. Dumb and Dumber. Oh my That's god! Kind of, I was kind of starting to think like some old nineties comedies. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Yeah. Do not go in there. <laughs> Where is Snowflake? Where is Snowflake? <laughs> I lost a ring. I lost a ring. I lost a ring. I found a stone. Find me his wrinkle, wrinkle is fine, st- or whatever. Hello, may I ask you a question? May I ask you a question? Damn it, he's, I don't have time for that. What's his name? He did the wild thing. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, oh Tone Loke. Lo- yeah. No. Yeah, no. yeah. That's Tone. not who's in it, though. That's yeah, not Tone. Yeah, bullshit. Tone no. Loke is the guy. At oh, the... that is Tone Loke. Yes, yeah, it you're is. Right, you're right. I don't got time for that, Ace. You know how he had his voice like that? You know how his voice got? Why? His mom used to give him hot, super hot tea when he was a kid and made him like slam it back in the, when he was a kid. For like some medical whatever, and he th- it scarred his uh, vocal cords. Wow! Yeah, I'm just gonna do that so I can sound like Tone Loke. I know that he sounds like Smackers the Frog. I don't know who that is. The cereal mascot. Thank you. No. <laughs> Ninety. Can't get enough of that golden Chris. I hate Honey golden Chris, but I think it's garbage. I can't remember. Keep what it your is. rice puffs out of here, you son of a bitch. Rice Krispies is already here. I need your shit. And it's a stupid mascot, too. And a stupid box. The box is ugly. Anyway. You know what would be a really interesting? Mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings turned into a musical. Oh, that my God. A, would it short? Like, it? A, Dude, like an opera. Mad Max. Fury Road. That totally could be a musical. Totally. You have held us captive. We no longer want to be captive. She is pregnant. <laughs> You will not show us all of the fighting parts we want to see. What does the bad guy call his chick? Precious? Is it Precious? No, it's not Precious. It's, uh, Splendid! Remember that? When he's all I remember is the four-armed guitar player, and then I fell asleep wow. from drinking rum in the theater with you he guys. He wasn't four-armed. He was just swinging on, like, a... Bullshit, he had four arms. No. He doing a fucking guitar solo on top of a car chasing a giant truck. No, that was uh, some famous musician, musician, too. In CGI. No, that was up. That was all practical stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of it was practical. It was not the CGI guitar player with four he wasn't arms. CG, there was no four arm CGI guitar player. Look at look it up, Justin. You guarantee the, you that there was a four arm guitar player. No. Guitar. Keep talking. I know how. to No, type. I just I, I know you know how to type. I can no. hear you. <laughs> no, there's no way. There he is. Yeah, it's not four arms though. Bullshit! What is that? He's got two fucking fret. No, go up to. He has what? two arms. No, that's him. There's two arms on him. Get some, buddy. I know what I'm talking about. Who is it though? It's some dude. I can't remember who he was. Hmm. Some famous musician though. Reminds me of uh, like a tool. I think they changed it. <laughs> or I was just drinking. <laughs> One of the two doesn't really matter. Little column A. Little column B. Noisy was his name, right? Very unique name. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Great movie. Yeah, I haven't been different. Doof Warrior. Yeah, he was the Doof Warrior. Immortal what Joe. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. That's just what they called the character. Huh. Oh, God. What do you say we pack it up this week and get the fuck out of here? All right. 
Thanks for sticking with us, Cyberbox. We want to hear from you. Yeah, come on. Seriously. Get your shit together. You don't you can, have to. It's you okay, can guys. email us at cyberlunch1 at outlook.com or contact us via our Facebook page at Cyberlunch. We're going to keep doing it anyway, so it doesn't freaking matter. It really doesn't. It doesn't freaking matter, man. Wednesday is our new day. Yes. Released. Yes. Recording Tuesdays. Recording Tuesdays. We are looking forward to see you again next week for another Lanch Room discussion. I'm Daryl. I'm Justin. I'm the co-host, Jake. We're Cyber Lunch. We're out. We're out. Go Vikes. Go Packers. At least our team showed up this week. There, Justin. Yeah. Aren't they playing against they the in, Niners? They're in Lambo too. Yeah. Ugh. I'm sorry. We all have our bad days. Vikings are not going to do that well this year. You're out of here. You're crazy. That's what all the Vikings usually. Oh say. yeah, Jake. Yeah, they're going to do good this. They're going to do it this they year. They have to. They have to. Do good. Do good. Nice to be ambiguous. Well, they they're going to do good. They were 10 and 3 last year. Yeah. So, is that, that was good? good. I would say that was great. You aren't going to make any sort of I mean, anything more than do finish. good? I'm just saying. What did you say? We love you. What did you say?